says, oh, how about, how about I start, I hit start. How about that? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Monica S. Martinez TV show. We thank you for joining us week after week. We have an, a very a very amazing guest, and I'm really excited to have her on the show this evening. Um, as you know, we're hosting an event on October 14th for Domestic Violence Awareness at the South of France. I hope to see you guys there. That is October 14th, South of France in the Bronx, New York. And you can see me on all social media sites, Monica S. Martinez, everywhere. My Snapchat is Moni226. If you want to look into my silly, silly, silly life, join me there. And I would love to welcome Miss LaVon Shaw. How are you? And we're excited to have you. Thank you for joining us this evening. So most of my viewers do not know who you are, and um, I want I want you to go ahead and introduce all that you are and what you stand for and what you do. But before you do that, let me just say, if you have comments for Levon, please feel free to log on right here or on YouTube. We're on Be Live. Come join us. We're here. You got questions? She's here to answer them. <laughs> So, Lavon, am I saying that right, Lavon? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Absolutely. So we're we're sort of in the same kind of realm. Um, we do the same things, which is awesome because I'm all about empowering couples to make it work and to bring that passion back, right? Because um, I call it the happy comings. You know, we're all about the happy comings. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that that's like um, our our hashtag. We have T-shirts with that on there. And, um, you know, that's what we promote. We promote, you know, happy comings, happy smiles, all of that. Oh, look, my aunt is watching Jesus Christ. Hi, Titi. So, <laughs> so I mean, this this is so amazing because you, you're a pastor. Now, preach on that, please, because sex has been so taboo. And, you know, you know, it's one thing to hear it coming from, you know, me, married woman, blah, 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 but you are a pastor.
That's right. That's right. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> That's right. So, fellas, use it. <laughs> that is amazing. You don't understand how much joy you're bringing to me. I mean, you can see it, though, right? You can see the smiles because... Oh, girl, please, you are welcome here anytime. Feel free. Feel free. You are welcome to come and stay even. How about that? <laughs> Definitely. We'll make arrangements for that. that. That would be so awesome, right, to have you, like, right here in the flesh, in the dining room. Like, that's where I am in my dining room. <laughs> um, that would be, like, awesome sauce. So I have a couple of questions for you already lined up. All right, so let me grab one. Well, I mean, you just told us a little bit about yourself. So really quickly, I mean, it, it shows that you have so much going on. Like, how do you find the time to bring that back home? Like, I have to explain to my clientele, but you have so much going on. What, what do you tell people who ask you, well, how, how do you find the time to balance it all? <laughs> oh, that's nice. So you're you're spending a lot of the time together anyway. So really quick, do you guys like go sneak in, you know, the altar somewhere? Oh my god, I love you. I love you that is awesome that is so awesome oh girl thank you <laughs> you don't understand you're just making my evening <laughs> that's right i'm i'm a firm believer in that you have got to practice what you are preaching so you know guys yes i practice all that stuff i preach that you know i post on there with my loved one <laughs> of course now what do you tell like um do you have like your single female um group in the church that you know do they come to you and you know talk about like well i want to wait to marriage but what do i do in the meantime as far as self pleasure and all that stuff. Like, how do you guide those single women, especially being a pastor? Yes! 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 Masturbation is key. Okay, go ahead. Please. Mm -hmm. yes. this this just brings so much joy to my heart right now because you know i always i grew up in a in a christian home um catholic rather and you know my mom was really 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 strict and like sex wasn't even talked about in the home now do you have children do you talk to them about sex and 
you know, what, what are, you know, cause today sex is different than it was when you and I were probably growing up where, you know, you had to wait to a certain age or wait to marriage kind of thing. So like, what do you tell your children? Do you have children? Yes! Beautiful. Right, I mean, because like, I mean, as you know, and I know, Sex is an energy, and you have you have to be careful about who you are exchanging that DNA with because I don't think most women realize like a male DNA stays with us for the rest of our lives, and and I guess if people understood that, they they kind of would you know refrain and kind of take it easy and also be choosy about their mates, right? Yes. Oh my God, you are like so amazing. This is probably, okay, I can't say that on live TV, but damn it, one of the best bookings Dillis has done. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it anyway. And my dog is screaming over here because he's like this little, 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 shh. I I'm on the radio, please. C can you close the door? I I'm <laughs> sorry. My brother-in-law, so he um, lives upstairs. No, he, Jesus Christ, sorry about that. Stop it. Um, my brother-in-law lives upstairs, so the dog is like yay big, and he thinks he can beat everybody up or you know bite people, so he's a bully, and he can't do anything. You can just kick him across the room, you know? But anyway, I'm sorry, Snowy. Um, over here. All right, I'm sorry about that. So we have, I have a question for you. They want to know, um, when did you start the journey into like, you know, teaching about sex and, you know, talking about it to other people? That's a beautiful thing. God bless you guys, cause I, like this is this is just super amazing just for me. Um, again, because the aspect of you being a pastor, you know. So um, I want I have a question here for you. Um, what is your your perspective on like the new age intimacy, like the new age, the sex age here? 
what is your perspective? How, how do you feel about the way, you know, people were moving today as opposed to, you know, many moons ago? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that, see, that's where, you know, they, they need the education of, you know, the intimacy portion of it, the exchanging energy. Um, I, ha I have five children, so I, you know, I talk to, I've spoken to them, obviously, um, individually at different times about this whole perspective on sex because you know they they turn around they're like oh i have a new girlfriend and i'm in love dude you don't even know what love is like right. you know two weeks you can't love someone i'm sorry i don't i, I don't think that there's a such thing as love at first sight because i feel like you you meet the person's representative first right right, right. So, Right, they're going to be on their best behavior during this time, right? Because it's they say anything and everything to pretty much get you in between the sheets, right? Yeah, so I, I mean, I'm I'm all about the education for the youth, for you know, um, the undereducated, even in the 20s, 30s. Um, I have some clientele in their 60s that are still undereducated about this whole sex thing, right? Do you? It, it's amazing. Mm. Wow, that's so sad. Um, yeah, I've heard of something close down here um, in the Bronx. There was this clinic where you know they they were trying to educate the older people because the older people, like you said, didn't think that you know they can con contract anything that they were just having sex with you know pretty much everyone. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it was crazy because this is like a nursing home and they're engaging in sexual activity and not being protective at the same time. It's just like, whoa, nothing's changed. Nothing has changed in that aspect, people. You know, safe sex, safe sex. Aside from the happy coming, safe sex, you know? Where do you give these seminars? I mean, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> so all you guys who are interested in having her come to New York to host these kind of seminars, hello, come on, let's get it together because that would be an awesome, like almost like a, a retreat, yeah. right? Like a maybe a weekend retreat kind of thing. That is so awesome. <laughs> Dillis is like me, me, me. And uh, she's, she's mentioning lust at first sight. Yeah. I think that's pretty much more people are more physical right now. And, you know, they're looking at the physical aspect of people and not really, you know, the inner part of it, which is the intimate part and getting to know someone. So I have another question for you. Uh -huh. What is your your clientele's biggest like thing? Well, this is what's missing in our relationship. Like, what what is the most issue that you hear the most? What's lacking aside from intimacy? Obviously, we're talking intimacy, right? But what what what's lacking between them? Is it a lack of communication? What what is the
Nice. What's your favorite toy that, aside from this egg, um, what is your favorite toy to introduce into the bedroom? That's pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> this is like hilarious. My son is about to walk in, the 18 year old. He's, um, he's coming in, so I have to remind him that I'm on, but also we're about to hear the dog again go crazy because that's what he does. <laughs> um, hold on. Do, do you have any upcoming events that you, you um, have that you want to share with the audience? Oh. Absolutely, definitely, so that we can um, promote. Like, where can our audience find you if they're looking for you aside from Facebook? Like, where, where are you? Do you have a website? Absolutely. Um, definitely. We want to definitely keep you in touch and keep you in a loop, especially because we do the same kind of things and because you're a pastor. <laughs> so, because I always get, you know, the clients like, oh, well, you know, it's not good to do these things. It's not God's way. And I'm just like, hmm, I'm pretty sure he didn't design our bodies to be the way they are. For us not to enjoy them. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, tell me a little about your book. Absolutely, please. Yes. That's right. <laughs> that is
Beautiful. That is super awesome. Guys, you hear that right here from Levon. Um, she's directed you to Amazon for her book. So make sure you, you know, check that out and uh, support her because she's awesome and she's a pastor, guys. So you see, she has just proven that sex isn't dirty. You know, what we were taught when we were younger, that it's taboo, it's not a taboo, you know, and especially if you're sharing it with someone you love, you know, so that's the most important part is that if you're exchanging that energy with your husband, um, Levon, yeah. How important is sex in a marriage? Hell no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yes, please. I was I was hoping you was bringing that out, girl. People, did you hear that? I'm just saying you can hit rewind once we post this and you can hear that again. <laughs> so just just keep this in mind. You know, this is a pastor, guy, <laughs> a pastor. I'm so hyped about this. Are there any other Bible verses that we can look to um, for, you know, for the woman who stands by the Bible and, you know, holds it very close. Absolutely. Gather lilies is my orgasms. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go get my Bible. And I'm gonna read. This. I'm gonna read that, and then I'm gonna call my mom because, right? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "Mom, did you ever read this verse?" And I'm gonna just see what she says to me. She may just fly to New York and smack the crap out of me, but <laughs> I'm just gonna do it to bust her chops because you know she had us scared of sex when we were young. Like, if you kiss a boy, you will get pregnant you know, kind of thing. So um, I was going to mess with her because that's what we do as children. We mess with our parents. So, um, but that is like so amazing. Are there any other final thoughts you want to share with our, re um, our viewers and readers?
absolutely. I enjoy my gifts all the time. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just a happy person. Um, how long have you been married, if you don't mind? Oh, that's so beautiful. That is awesome. Awesome sauce. Have you been married 15? And how long have you been together on top of that? Beautiful. Well, God bless your union. And you are super amazing. I thank you for coming on and spending some time with us and letting our viewers know that sex isn't dirty. And you heard that right from a pastor's mouth, guys. LaVon, if you would just share with everyone again where they can find you, all your media sites and stuff like that, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> that is awesome. I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your gifts and your talents with us here on the Monica S. Martinez TV show. And let's link up after this uh, and, you know, let's put some minds together. Yes, hashtag clitoris. Uh -huh. Absolutely, because we're hashtag happy coming. So imagine we're at a place together and you're wearing your clitoris shirt and I'm wearing my happy coming shirt. Like how awesome is that happy comings or clitoris happy comings? Oh my God, this is super amazing. So you're going to be like my new best friend. Um, Delissa says she'll connect us both. Thank you very much, Delissa. I really appreciate it. This is probably one of the best people you have booked for me. So I want to thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying enjoying you as a whole. And that, that's pretty awesome. Again, thank you for joining us here. We would love to have you back as well. So I'll make sure that Dillis, you know, reaches out to you so that we could get together here again, um, as well as in person in doing, you know, bringing something together and doing something here in New York. Where are you based out of? Oh, so you're not even that far. So that's awesome. Dillis is saying she'll she'll set that up and she's known you for a few years now. So yeah, awesome sauce. So definitely we will, you know, we'll get together and, you know, we'll put our heads together and who knows what will happen. All right. Thank you for joining us. And guys, thank you for, you know, coming back week after week after week to the Monica S. Martinez. TV show. We'll be back next week, same time. So make sure you join us. And thanks again, LaVon Shaw, for being here. She's a pastor, guys. That's all I'm saying. Hit that rewind button and, you know, listen out for the show. And Dillis will share this out again, and I'll make sure that my assistant pulses it as well so that we can have it shown again. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful night and happy coming. Thank you. And to all of you, have a good night. Mm -hmm. Bessels and happy, happy, happy coming. Have a good night.